in my last tutorial I showed you how we can make routes authentication based which means using an authenticated property I was checking whether the user was logged in or not in the route change start event and accordingly we were either redirecting him back to the login page if he has not logged in through Facebook and if he had actually logged in then I mean if he is an logged in user then we were giving him access to the page which in our case was the dashboard page but this application had one small little flaw so let's see I log into Facebook I get the pop-up I'm already logged in so I'm redirected to the Facebook sorry the dashboard page I'm getting my user object the access token is consoled but now if I do a refresh I'm going back to the login page again the reason is I have kept the access token in the auth factory only I have not persisted it which means whenever I refresh the page the JavaScript variable is cleared and hence I am not a logged in user so there must be a way that we can persist the access token so that whenever the auth factory is requesting for an access token it should get it and then only can we support the refresh so how do I do it we can use the angularjs cookie library which will help us store the access token we will also store the user object so that we can display the user object in other places and also use for other important transactions but yeah the basic rule is store the access token in the cookie and the auth factory will always get the access token from the cookie and if the access token is not present then we know that the user is not logged in so first thing what we will do is get the angular cookie module angular.js right go into the download section browse additional modules and this is the js file i'm interested in i will copy the entire js file create my own angular cookie dot js update my index.html and then I need to update my app as well ng cookies all right things are working all right now that we have the cookie in our app first thing what we need to do is in our home controller we need to reference dollar cookie store and let me pass it to this parameters and when we get the user response what we will do is store the user object in the cookie itself now we have two methods in our dollar cookie store which is put to store anything and get to get anything pretty common so here I will say dollar cookie store dot put user object and the value will be the entire response obviously and now in our dashboard controller again we will add the cookie store so where user object equals 
dot cookie store dot get user object console dot log user object let us hit the refresh button log n so if you see the dashboard controller dot js line number three is giving us this console which means this so our basic two methods which is cookie store dot port is working and our cookie store dot get is also working so now the next thing is to store the access token in the cookie and change our auth factory to fetch the cookie from fetch the access token rather from the cookie and return it back and if we don't get it then we will redirect the user to the login page okay so let me quickly change our auth factory so that the cookie store will be used to fetch the authentication access token the set access token will become something like dollar cookie store dot put access token and I'll pass the access token here and let's say the get access token will become something like dollar cookie store dot get access token and we will return it back so obviously I need to include this model inside my factory and I think that should be it but as one minor modification or rather refactoring what we can do is I have shown you that inside my dashboard controller I used draw the cookie to get the user object but you know I think it will be better if we can use the auth factory which will handle entire user object and then fetch the data instead of using the cookie directly so what I can quickly do is remove cookie store and replace it with auth factory like so and then Of factory dot get user object, which will be a new method which I will write inside my factory. Of factory dot get user object. Let's keep it simple. OBJ. Uh, okay. This is a function. And in this where user object equals dollar cookie store dot get user object I think this is the same thing which we have used here right so copy paste no chance of any mistakes if we have user object then return user object else console dot log user object log form we can do better handling but for now this is okay in my dashboard controller the factory is included so now let's give it all right so everything is working basically if I go to my login page let us clear this console I do FB login. I'm redirected to the dashboard. My dashboard controller is getting the user object. If I hit refresh, I'm still there because in my set access token, now I have used cookie store dot port access token, which means the cookie is now con controlling 
the access token object. And whenever I'm doing a get access token, I'm fetching the access token from the cookie and not from the JavaScript variable. And that's the reason the refresh is working. We can check it from our Chrome settings. I'll go to content settings, all cookies, go to host. All right, I have two cookies. And as you can see, these are access token where my access token is set and the user object which contains the response which is coming from the Facebook website. If I remove it, done, close the stack and hit the refresh button, I get back to the login page. The reason is simple. Now the auth factory is not able to find the cookie because I have deleted it. So we need to log in back. Dashboard, refresh, and it's working fine. And to give you a glimpse of one advantage of using the auth factory to control the user object instead of getting it directly from the controller is for example, I need to show on my dashboard, welcome to your dashboard and then the name. What I can easily do is fetch the name here. Dot scope dot name equals user object dot name. Okay. And let me update the view. Inside strong tag. Name. Okay, so the advantage is now I have one factory method which is controlling the user object, and my controller is only responsible in getting it. Other factory methods can change, override, delete anything in that object, and my controller is not required to be aware of those changes. That's about it. If you like this video, click on the thumbs up icon and also subscribe to my channel. I also have a blog which is amitabhvaray.com where I post all my articles and so if you like those articles you can basically subscribe to my newsletters which will ensure that anytime I post any new article you will be informed through an email.